Hey YouTube, it's me, Empress E with the T, and I am back. I've been outside, everybody and their mama outside. It's nice out there too. It ain't too hot, and it ain't too cool, but it's too many motherfuckers out there for me. So, I figured I'd come back and do a reading. As soon as I got out there and got to my destination, I had to pee real bad, and some made me come back home. <laughs> Okay, Patience, the Heart Chakra, Archangel Raphael, the Garden and the Gate came out. I feel like this, you need to be patient when it comes down to matters of the heart. You know, balancing out matters of the heart because 38 break down to 11. Then we got 30. I did a six card spread. You know, six represents harmony. So the next card out is, you know, standing at the Garden and the Gate. You know, being patient when it comes down to matters of the heart. And I feel like just being patient when it comes to things that you're passionate about. If you're not being patient about that, you need to be patient about that. Because whatever that is, that's going to bring in this wish fulfillment. That's going to bring in this balance. Because that's what's in your heart. You know, it's going to take you on this journey toward victory. Because we got 10 and 11. It's 28. It breaks down to 10. 10 is the number of destiny. It's the number of a new start, a new beginning. And um that's what this 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 big this that's what this cornucopia is gonna bring. It's gonna bring this victory as you journey toward it. You know what I'm saying? Once you come um face your fears or cross whatever obstacle that is that's in your way that's holding you back from doing whatever it is that you need to do. Um, on the other side of that gate is cornucopia. You just got to take this journey to be victorious, you know, in your whatever endeavors that is. Bottom of the deck is a contract. This could be a new job. This could be a friendship. This could be a new connection. But this contract is going to be victorious. But with this contract comes temptation. And that temptation was at the bottom of the other six six card spread that I did clarifying these cards. So I'm gonna clarify all these cards. So this contract is gonna be tempting. But what spirit is telling you when dealing with this contract is to use your discernment. This is your third eye chakra. You got to use that third eye chakra, and we got six one six. That could be a message, you know what I'm saying? Or 166 could be a message. Um, do I got my numbers out here? Okay, let's see what 616 is about. Do I got those? Did I? Yes, I did. So 616 suggests that we should get our lives in order. And that this will give us a platform from which we should launch into the next stratosphere. So this is like get your life in order when it comes down to this passion that's in your heart. Because this 38 break down to 11, then we got another one. That's 111, intuition and self-trust. So it's like use your intuition when it comes down to all of this passion that you have. You know, and this is 16. Look at this. So it's like... <laughs> Use your it's be passionate, but at the same time, use your intuition. But you have to be patient with whatever, with whatever this is. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna bring about prosperity when you move past whatever obstacle this is that's holding you back that got you on your head. Uh, as you go through this transformation, once you get past that. It's going to bring in its prosperity. And then we got 11 again. We got 11, 11 with this cornucopia. And then that 38 for that heart chakra breaks down to 11. So this cornucopia is coming from your passion. Whatever your passion is, it's going to bring in this prosperity. But you got to let go of these members of love in order to get these, this, um, in order to get this cornucopia. And you got to let it go in harmony. You know what I'm saying? And use your intuition and how you communicate that to whoever it is that you sever in a connection with. 
And 66 is unconditional love, faith, trust, heal, and maintain a positive attitude while you ma manifesting your innermost heart desires. These is your innermost heart desires that you manifesting. This passion clarified this heart chakra, this fourth chakra. And it's like, let go of these memories of love as you manifest the love that you really want into your life because this journey is going to bring you the material harvest that you need. And, and this is the nine. Nine is a completion. And look, 69. <laughs> Maybe you letting go of somebody that like to eat a lot of coochie or something like that. I don't know why I said that, but I was just trying, trying to keep it clean. <laughs> okay as you let this go this material harvest is gonna come in okay and this material harvest clarified this journey card and as you go on this journey that's when this material harvest gonna come in and this nine and two is the 11 we got 11 11 11 all across the board okay 11 11 is um 11 is the soul's mission spiritual awakening but 111 is intuition and self-trust and 1111 is instant manifestation and if y'all want me to go deeper into it love yourself completely have faith angels are helping you discover your own truth signs that a major development is about to occur angels want you to make dream interpretation a priority the angels are helping you have better self-esteem. Now, that's what that 1111 is. And clarifying victory is this eight. If I can get it off the table. Emotionally withdrawn. So, you have to become emotionally withdrawn to get this victory. So, that's me. Like, that eight is all about stepping into your power and taking authority over your situation as you get victory because people are going to try to tempt you to knock you off your square all this black just represents that mental power all this red just represents that root chakra and being grounded within yourself and knowing what it is that you want and what it is that you got and what it is that you can't do you know what i'm saying and not being confused about that clarifying this patience and this third hour sudden well so, and this is 11. We got 11s all over this uh, thread. So, some type of sudden wealth is going to come in. But it's at a distant horizon. And that could be like what this contract is about. Okay? This contract could be with another main female. Or somebody could see you as that main female that they want to work with. And then look, right come after that main female is this main male. So this is like stepping across the gate to priority towards a person. Because we got another 11 here. So maybe prosperity is beginning for this main male. And they want to step out on faith or they want you to step out on faith toward them. I don't know what the fuck that situation is. But you let go of these memories of love in order to have your cornucopia. So this could be an ex-lover that want to come back around. This person thinks that you're expecting them, but you didn't took this journey. You got this material harvest, and I and you ain't expecting shit. But this main male think you expecting them. What? Oh, <laughs> yes. Well, okay. Somebody is. Somebody thinking something that ain't going down. Okay, we got victory here and we got emotionally withdrawn and we got a privileged lady. Okay, so you you withdrew your emotions and, and you got the victory. Somebody see you as a privileged lady, okay? This person could be at a distant horizon or this main female that's with this man that's thinking about you. This lady could be expecting some, I don't know, but this main male is expecting you to expect him to come through. And you, ex, 
You done withdrew your emotions all the way back from this shit and you focused on something totally different because you you being a peacekeeper right here. You letting go of the need to be right. You just let go of that shit right and you just on your own shit harnessing your mystic power. Real talk. As this passion ignite and um you follow what's in your heart. And we got one, two. You know who you are. You waiting for that important information from spirit, I feel. This is the oracle. So I feel like this person could be waiting for important information before they move forward, or you can. Or somebody being sneaky when it comes down to somebody's stability. This is just saying, surround yourself with protective energy at the moment because um, somebody is feeling broken and revengeful winter take care of your needs yeah somebody is being cold or somebody see you as being cold or you could have several times with somebody in the winter time and they feel like and you a lone wolf around this bitch <laughs> real talk that's what i'm getting looking at this car you and people think you being cold but really you not you feeling that love by mother earth this is the earth mother feel loved and comforted you know, and people see you as such. Or you could be, could have been at one point loving and comforting towards other people. And now you giving that to yourself. Um, medicine mother. Yeah, you could have been healing toward other people. And they took advantage and you had to pull them emotions back. And release them memories and send it back to the universe to make more memories. You know, this is the medicine mother under your inner knowing. You honoring your inner knowing of, you know, what the fuck this is really is. Somebody is sitting watching you dissipate. And we got a bird here. So this bird could be talking this a spy. It's three people. You know what I'm saying? These three pictures on the wall could be working with this person. It could be an older lady talking shit about, you know, this masculine. This masculine is watching you and they watching this person watching you talking. Some birds. And they just sitting around talking dissipating while miracles are happening for you as you harness that mystic power and put in that service. But there's going to be some important information coming from this male, main male about this service. You know, and this prosperity. Maybe you stop working with this person. <clears throat> Maybe you start working with this person. This person want to come back around. Okay? For this abundance. Because look at this girl. She getting this abundance. And this man just all up in his head. That's why it's like surround yourself with protective energy. Because somebody is pulling on your heartstrings. And they doing it intentionally. Because they see that you didn't discover yourself. You know what I'm saying? They see that you didn't discover, you know, what they was really about. You didn't took this journey. You got this material abundant. You ain't expecting shit. People saying you cold, but you taking care of your own needs because you didn't discover these motherfuckers for who they really was. And you didn't got that inner discovery of yourself and, and what it is that you really want. This is impartiality. Don't paint over your pain. Feel loved and comforted by Mother Earth. Process that shit. Deal with it. Sit with it. See what it is. Don't be despondent when it comes to your growth. And you got other people, look, you got other people feeling despondent because of your growth. Because you fertile with ideas. And, and, and this is what's coming to my head. They feel like you're not doing shit with that shit and they feel like they can do better with it. But it's like Get your own motherfucking ideas and do better with them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do the same thing, you got the opportunity to do the same motherfucking thing. If you want to be an entertainer, single rapper, dancer, hairdresser, motherfucking counselor, whatever, do it. Do it. And if you feel like you can do it better than the person that's already doing, do it. It's enough out here for everybody. The world is abundant. You ain't got to be all up in your head worried about somebody else's stability. 
what somebody else has had, what somebody else got dissipating. Because you all, you want motherfucker, you believe in your own lies and you want other people to believe your own, your lies. Okay? Let your emotions flow. And I feel like collective, this is something that we do and we let our emotions flow. Why? Because we not accepting no anything and this is just like focus and act. All this black represents that mental power. It represents that protection and this sword represents that sword of truth. And truth came out as the very last card. Don't close your heart off just because you dealt with bullshit. Use your intuition when it comes down to matters of your heart. Because there is something to celebrate. But you got to seek the lessons when it comes down to this service and when it comes down to dealing with people. Because everybody ain't going to keep it 100, especially when it comes down to monies and matters of the heart. You manifested this abundance. You manifested this protection. You protected when it come down to this love and relationship. Because you let go. You let go for your cornucopia with love and kindness. You didn't motherfucking spread no lies about nobody. And trust and believe you got the motherfucking T. The T-E-E. -E on all they ass. But you ain't into exposing people for what? You know, these same motherfuckers is hanging on and now they penny pitching for trying to motherfucking outdo motherfuckers that they ain't even in no competition with. And this is just saying, know your fears. And this is know your fears when it comes to hanging on to something that you don't need to hang on to something. You could be penny pitching or trying to hang on to your money, but this is just saying... Know your fears and discover yourself, you know, by going within. You got everything you need. This is just saying take care of your needs. Hold on to your money and take care of your needs. And know your fears. You chose yourself. You're not painting over your pain no more with this impartiality. Spirit is just saying, stay strong. Because during this time, you're going to have a lot of people trying to throw blocks your way. You're going to have a lot of people trying to get in the way of your manifestation. Especially this King of Pentacles. This motherfucker been coming out a lot, lady. And this motherfucker is at a distance. In, in hiding. This motherfucker is in hiding watching you. Trying to juggle some shit when it come down to a family and a partnership, okay? All up in their head and they trying to project this energy on to you. Okay? To make you feel burdened. As you healing. You healing from this. And you already got insight about this shit already and you done walked away from it. This is the same motherfucker from your past. And this person is despondent watching you. Why? I don't know. But spirit is just saying, be patient. Be patient at the end of the day because nothing is going wrong. Nothing has gone wrong. You balancing out your energy. Motherfuckers can call, call you cold all they want to. Motherfuckers can call you antisocial all they want to. They call me that all through motherfucking all while I was a kid. Because I didn't fuck with fake and phony ass people. And I'm just like, yeah, I just be antisocial. You know what I'm saying? Variance. You got a variety of shit. And I actually want to read this card. Because this is my first time pulling it. And uh, 9 and 3 break down to 12. 12 break down to sacrifice. And we got soul right in here. And right up under this angel, it says the truth. And I mentioned something about the truth, like being true to yourself. It's time for you to be true to yourself. It's time for you to do this soul right. Nothing has went wrong. This is the way spirit wanted this shit to go. But you got people that's feeling 
you know, left out in the cold and feeling some type of way because you pulled your energy back. But that's their motherfucking business. The, di the differing percep perceptions of ego and soul. Today, you may not feel like yourself. You and your soul are looking at the same thing, but are seeing it differently. Your emotions and reactions are a combination of your thoughts and your soul's thoughts. When they don't align, you feel wobbly. Variance is a way of explaining the wobble. When you have the same perception of your soul, things feel right. They may seem satisfactory and easy. No limiting beliefs or patterns are triggered. But there is a there are there is a feeling that is all well. Your soul will never join you in judgment, blame, or hurt because it is not the truth of you. You is not the perceptive perceptive of love. How you feel reveals how aligned you are with your soul. You if you are experiencing something that doesn't feel quite right, take a breath and come back to your center. You will begin to feel better, inspired, and negate your inner radar and ready to perceive your soul's transmission. It's being your own authority. And let me see, soul writing. We become the story we tell. You are the author of your story, right? One that inspires you and doesn't let anyone else command the pen. Physical reality is temporary. It is forever changing from the moment to the from one moment to the next. The events and experiences of your life are multi-dimensional life living art. There's purpose and form that their purpose and form will shift as your perception of them does. You can view and adjust any stories from your past, present, or future. Let go of justifying or analyzing the events that became your story and left yourself and left yourself into it and lift yourself into a new way of seeing them. Look at the car and imagine you are the angel rising and connecting to the soul's light at the top of the pyramid. From this expanded view, you can see your story, your stories and their facets from a neutral position. A higher perspe perspective will unveil and reveal what was previ previously unknown. You may be surprised, shocked, or embarrassed that the story you have identified with is not what you thought it was. Don't stress. This indicates that the stories are shaking loose and healing is occurring. You are doing so well. You are worthy and you are loved. Look, you are loved by Mother Earth. All these motherfucking messages are saying this. Stand in your power. Write your own story. This is what this is saying. Ain't nothing wrong. Nothing has gone wrong. You balancing things out. You balancing out karma. As you channeling this soul love. Look at this, y'all. Oh my God, I can't even pick this card up. And this is just these cards coming in order. You got to listen to your inner voice. And this is soul name at the bottom of that. Your soul is speaking to you. You got access to the infinite. You got access to the infinite as you go through this transformation. And I was adding these numbers together. 4 and 9 is 13. 19 led to a 13. 13 is the number of transformation. And look, transformation at the bottom of this deck. 5, 3 is 8. 8 is the number of authority. As you step in your power and, and regain the authority over your life. And that's what that variance was all about. Taking authority of your life. And you got access to the infinite. And I'm going to read that and I'm going to end this. The eternal life for cycles of growth. Raising from the ash and many deaths and rebirths within one's life. You are so much more than your physical body. The begins of the Lamera are said to have lived for many hundreds of years. As they are one particularly incarnated. They, as they... They, they were only partially incarnated their bodies 
were much lighter, less physical, whatever. I'm not even going to read all this. But this is basically saying you done went through a mini death and rebirth. You done grew from the last cycle. You got access to the infinite. You know how to manifest. You know what I'm saying? You know when these red flags is coming up. You know when to emotionally pull back. Look at this shit. Your energy. Because you're going through this transformation and you got these unique gifts. Okay? Vulnerability. People are going to prey on your vulnerability because you are a star sea elemental. Okay? And they see you as home. Home is where the heart is. And then when you have all these people praying on you, just know home is within you. Home is not within no damn person. It ain't within nobody. Home is within you as you go through this transformation. And as you go through these many births and rebirths, you going to see that when you stepping through. Because it's going to be a lot of communication and co-creation as you be that visionary and that Ram Bridger. But you got to surrender. You got to surrender to your awakening. You can't be clinging on to the past and you can't be clinging on to them old memories because it's going to be taking you back. And people going to be wanting you to go back to that old person that you used to be and you no longer that person. You can't, you can't resonate with that anymore. You know what I'm saying? So it's just saying, spirit is just saying, be patient. You're going through this change. Everybody ain't going to be feeling it, but that's their motherfucking business. You know... At the same time, you need to be strong and know that you are not alone. Nothing has went wrong. This is the way things are supposed to go. Because God is clearing out the people that's not supposed to come with you on the journey that you're going on. And he placing the people that's supposed to be with you in your on your path of discovery. And you discovering yourself during this time. So that's the message. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like the message, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Empress E. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. I did want to pull a couple of other ratchets. I'm putting these cards up, but I think this was a good message. Just, just saying, stay focused. Use your intuition. Whatever it is that you're doing, it's going to bring a lot of abundance. You're going to be a privileged lady, but at the same time, with privilege comes responsibility. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people out here, they uh, abuse their privileges. You know, and I feel like these, the, the people that then went through them phases of abusing their privileges, they getting karma right now. But it. We got a 42, y'all. Let's see what we get. Peasantry. We got a 42, y'all, on some peasantry shit. Jealousy. And you really don't... Look at this shit! You really don't care! You really don't care. It was a Libra up under there. Okay, we got an R or a B, whatever this is. It looks more so like a B. And then they jealous of your accomplishments. Look at this. Oh, Jesus. How can you be jealous of somebody else's accomplishments? Get your own shit so you won't have to worry about being jealous of nobody. Somebody is having fertility problems. Obstacles are ahead. take this so whoever this is is being petty and in this peasantry look detaching and somebody you detaching from because love don't live here anymore okay that person of love could be been faded away from them the reason why they been they been uh petty i was going to say the reason why they being peasantry <laughs> focus on money Okay, somebody is jealous. They having fertility problems. This person could be focused on uh, money. We're looking at a Sagittarius. Somebody is a minor. Okay, somebody could have had a miscarriage. My condolences if you did. 
We got a loner here. We got a baby. Okay, somebody knew better. Somebody was doing rituals. Okay, so this could be what's why these fertility problems is out here and um chastity belt withholding sex celibacy so somebody is being celibate somebody doing rituals we got new money coming in in july baby yes and somebody in coven okay Let me pull some more because somebody trying to get somebody knocked up. This somebody trying to get a loner knocked up, but this person ain't even having sex. And somebody, this part the other person that's doing rituals and shit, they have a fucking a fertility problems. Thank you, God. You just thanking God around here, okay? Or this person could be praying for you to have fertility problems when it come down to having a baby. But you focus on your money. You ain't even trying to have no baby with nobody because whoever this was, you knew better. Love don't live here no more with this person because this person was being patty and, and, and uh, being a peasant. We got a Mexican out here. Somebody got no libido. We got somebody out here fantasizing, trying to distract you. Hmm. I'm going to try to get through these. Okay, somebody trying to distract you. You got a new start. So somebody trying to distract you on this new start. They see your queen. We got an end. That's married chemistry. But somebody is unemployed. This person that's unemployed, they ignore you because they feel like they don't have enough to offer. This person could be popping pills. I see Adderall addiction. Um, they trying to make ends meet and they nosy as fuck. So they watching you. This person is unfaithful. They unregretful for being unfaithful. You got an aunt. You could be somebody fine. Auntie, give it time and take a break already. Somebody having cardiovascular issues. Somebody having heart problems. They doing the blame game, trying to blame everything on you. This person name starts with a P and something could have went down in June. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, have a blessed one. Enjoy this 4th of July weekend. If you like the message, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. I'm Empress E.